Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to thank your video news for this opportunity to talk about such important matter as automated yield optimization and some specific things, which is uh, dynamic predictive waterfalls. Before we speak about the actual solution, I'd like to uh, briefly to talk about what actually happens today in video media buying. So, so far, most of the deals uh, are direct and uh, that's the most efficient way to monetization strategy for publishers. You don't have to take care of fail rate, you know the price and you know how, you, you know how much inventory do you have. But in the same time, most uh, non-guaranteed tech-based campaigns uh, still holds up to 8% of digital video advertising market. And we're still doing waterfalls. The whole industry actually is still doing waterfalls. And if we speak about common typical scenario of the waterfall, it looks like, like this. Um, so add-ups, basically, when it comes to start, the creative waterfall. He put a guarantee campaigns in the very top and then because uh, to fulfill inventory source you, you usually you don't have enough uh, demand so he to, to fulfill their, the fill rate and, and to, to continue day to day to serve the ads he starts to add uh, another tax starting from high paying tax to low paying tax and if it comes the first time uh, when he doesn't know anything about inventory, he, uh, um, of course, he, he put in a high paying one. But if he knows about source, he can put some low paying but tag, but with, uh, with less uh, latency and less number of errors. But anyway, he adds generate and update this workflow manually. So that's manually managing every ad opportunity help maximize efficiency. Well, of course it does. Uh, it's, it's better than nothing, uh, but in the same time, the few issues are coming up seen, like first of all, it's latency. So trying to maintain a high fill rate add up, add more and more tax to the waterfall. So when waterfall start to fail over, it could take like 30 seconds just to serve a simple ad. Uh, he can fix a problem only when it occurs because what he have he has is just retrospective analysis of what already happened well next thing is people make mistakes so such decision making can result in a human error he doesn't have uh, real-time data so he's slow on reaction to traffic changes and uh, one of the important things, uh, of course, any company in the video industry, it wants to grow their demand and supply. So if it grows, they have to add more and more add-ups force, which costs you more and more ca uh, human capital. Um, and when we speak about traffic, traffic is not a publisher. Traffic is a website or domain name. And uh, when, when you want to build a waterfall on the domain level, you're, it's, it's barely impossible because like a thousand of domain and, and manage them manually is almost impossible. So is there a way to, uh, to manage this to avoid such problems and pitfalls? Well, what we think there could be an option and could be a solution is automated waterfalls. Well, that's, that's how we see it could it works. So let's imagine having a big data from numerous campaigns pulled out from the system allows us to determine traffic specifics and add campaign results like, uh, like errors, latency issues, fill rate to map it uh, on a domain level and manage this all out automatically. So this will give add-ups more time to actually optimize and yield, focus on improving efficiency and switch from retrospective analysis to a perspective uh, analysis. So you can see that here we, we can do actually domain waterfalls for, for each domain and create a domain source, a domain source targeting automatically. What actually this solves, the automation solves? Of course, it solves a lot first of all, because for each domain, we automatically can optimize 
time and put uh, so add up can just uh, have just few few settings like uh, maximum latency number of errors uh, number of sources of demand so he just uh, put a few settings and system then automatically does everything else this automation considers all demand and supplies details in the real time so uh, if it if it goes to automatic we can actually change a waterfall every five minutes every one minute every every hour it just depends on the system settings that's it and uh, of course automation decreases human errors and uh, cost of, of the buying selling process and having this experience and being a part of this video industry for more than three years working with our publishers we came up with vertimedia intelli so we developed this predictive algorithm that analyzes real-time data for programmatic and managed demand in conjunction with historical data available within the Vertimedia platform. So our SSP platform actually does this and we have the prediction, we have the deep machine learning and we use, well, the, the usage of big data now makes sense because we, we make a decision based on this big data and we provide a full analytics based on all these small waterfalls so we can compare for one specific traffic source, we can compare, let's say the publisher has like 100 domains. So we can compare his 100 domains and, and build specific waterfall just for, for, for this domain. When we start talking about waterfalls, usually people from industry make like, oh, he said waterfall, come on. So we think that we find a solution, a way to, to make a waterfall sexy again. So work smarter, automate your waterfalls, and thank you for your attention.